Hey everybody, Tony Pellegrino with Gen Right Off Road, and you guys have heard me talk about our rash guards over time for our aluminum products. And it's a steel product that goes right over this most vulnerable edge on our rockers, on our bumpers. And you can see that this, this rocker's actually already sustained some damage from being up against some rocks. So what I did was I knocked off um, anything big with a file. I've then cleaned the rocker guard, and uh, now this is ready for me to go ahead and install one of our rash guards on here. Now, to do that, it's gonna take a cordless drill, a little bit of grease, a 17 30 seconds drill bit, or number seven for a quarter 20 tap, a T handle, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, a little Sharpie, obviously the hardware kit, some safety glasses, and then this is the Scotch Bright pad that I use to clean this up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the rash guard on here. I'm gonna mark which bolts I need to remove because you only wanna remove those bolts that you have to. And then um, we'll go ahead and get this thing installed. So let me grab this. And this rash guard is um, 3 16 steel plate that is formed to fit right on here perfectly like a glove. So now I'm gonna mark those four bolts that I was talking about to make sure I take out the right ones. And I'm just hitting them with a little bit of red Sharpie. And uh, that way I'll get the right ones. We'll set that down on the ground. And then I'm gonna use an Allen wrench to actually loosen these because I wanna make sure that I don't round out the hex head on the bolt while I'm doing this. And then I'll use a T-handle to take them out the rest of the way. You could also use your cordless drill if you uh, wanted to. But I'm always worried about these things stripping out or galling, so we wanna make sure that they're not getting messed up. And these feel good on this side, so. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull these the rest of the way out. And these are gonna hold the rash guard on in place exactly where we need to uh, drill the bottom holes. So, um, and if you, if you hadn't already installed your rockers, you could put the rash guard on before and uh, that's, that's totally up to you. But in this case, the rockers have been on this 2019 JL for a couple of years. So um, we're just gonna do it right here in place without disassembling the whole thing. Again, the, the rash guard isn't something that gets pulled on. It's usually pushed up against the side, so you, you don't really have to worry about um, how much force is applied to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, drop the first couple of bolts in place just to hold it while I take out this last one. And we ship these bolts with the rocker longer, knowing that you may put rash guards on. So one of the things I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, since we're putting the, we've taken the bolts out, I'm going to put grease on them to make sure that there's plenty of grease going back into the threads inside. That way we know these aren't getting dry and they won't um, end up galling on us. So that's important. out of here. There we go. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and start threading these back down in there. And we want to make sure that these go in real nice. We don't want these to cross thread or gall in any way. It's uh, the whole rocker would have to come apart in that case in order to fix it. So you really want to make sure that these go in smoothly. And sometimes you can see what I did where I just pushed up against there. The, there's a clip nut inside that floats and you got to make sure that the threads catch properly and uh, that way everything will go together real nice.
Okay, this is going back together real nice. So what I'll do is, uh, because this is a ball end T-handle, I don't want to crank way down because they tend to strip out the, the head in the bolts. And I'll use an Allen head wrench just to finish off tightening those. And we want those nice and tight so that when we drill the bottom, they're right in the right location that they need to go. So you can see it just takes about a quarter turn with a little Allen wrench to get that last little bit. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put our drill in here, which if you remember is a number seven, because that's the proper size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill and tap this right in place. Let me grab my safety glasses. And uh, and we're just gonna tap all the uh, aluminum in the bottom and uh, you know we we call this big cap the, the rocker cover okay so now we'll put our tap in and again put a little bit of grease on that tap Make sure that you do not send that in there dry. There we go. And if you've never done this before, you have to put a little bit of pressure as you run the tap in. Okay, now you open up your hardware bag and you wanna pull out the countersunk bolts, grab four of those, and then you just put those right in and uh, your rash guard is installed. Look at how nicely that goes in there. These are stainless bolts, they're um, countersunk, so they're nice and flush with the bottom of the rocker guard and uh, nothing to hang up on. That makes it really, really nice. And again, if you if you, we had done this before we installed this outer shell, then we could have put a a nylock nut and a washer on the back side, of which comes in the hardware kit. It's just we didn't want to take this whole thing apart. And, and frankly, this is more than sufficient. This is the same way I ran them on Terramoto for years. And then just like we did before, you want to take your Allen wrench and give these last little bit to make sure that they're all nice and tight. It's really tight. And last one. Okay, so now you've got this nice hardened steel edge on the most vulnerable area of your rocker guard. And uh, this really works well. It adds strength, you know, just by, you know, this kind of a formed piece is super, super strong, adds a ton of strength. It's bolted into the infrastructure. It's capping it, right? I told you, you don't have to paint it. You can leave it just like this if you want to. And um, <clears throat> you can also, what I like to do, is add a little piece of three quarter inch grip tape all the way down. So whether you're standing up here to wash the windshield or you're getting in and out, you've got a little bit of something that'll grip your shoe because this surface can tend to be kind of slippery. So if you live in a wet or a cold climate, um, that would be pretty important that uh, you get a little grip on your shoes. But that's all it takes. Comes with all the stainless steel hardware you need, and it's that easy to put them on.